y'all doing? Now, if y'all like me, y'all might feel like y'all fluent in Spanish. Nobody can't tell me I ain't fluent in Spanish. I watch a little chihuahua tell me about Taco Bell for 20 plus years. Until today, I realized I was speaking to a person that spoke Spanish primarily, and I couldn't say nothing past this, this regular statement. For example, como estas? Now, I know como estas means what's good, what's going on, how you doing, how you doing, partner? Because of memory, I know to say bien, y tú, after y tú, I don't even know what y tú meant until today I realized I ain't know what y tú meant. Bien, y tú, this means good and you. Y tú, Y-T-O, and you, that's what that means. But when you run into somebody, they gonna say bien. And that's when the conversation get awkward. But today, I told myself that I would learn a little bit more Spanish so I don't get caught up in that whirlwind. So when you tell somebody, como estas, bien. Now, bien might look like being a bind. Don't get confused because bind is leg for German. So if you tell somebody, say bien, y tú, this is what you can say to make yourself seem more Spanish speaking. Now, when you find yourself caught up after that e tu b a e tu, this is how you can play it off. I just learned this today. So when somebody say that, all you gotta do is say they don't they er er is eris Oreos. They don't they Oreos. Yo yo soy like soy sauce. So you put a little Asian flavor in your Hispanic language. So it's yo soy. Remember, soy is soy sauce. So don't forget that D and where you from. This space is where you from. So I say. I tell somebody, the donde Oreos, yo soy, like soy sauce, the Immokalee, because I'm from Immokalee. And then you say E too. Now, the E going to be a Y. Don't get confused. A lot of y'all going to get confused by seeing the E as a Y, but it's E too. Then that person going to say, the donde Oreos, yo soy, the soy sauce, because it's an Asian culture. You got to add some Asian flame to that, make it like a creme brulee of language, and they're going to say, yo soy D, and they probably from Chicago. Now, if they think they're from Chicago, check your wallets, and depending on what part of Chicago they're from, because Chicago don't play. And if they say, yo soy, soy sauce, D, um, Connecticut, they're probably from your imagination, because I don't know nobody from Connecticut. So this has been Spanish Learning Language with Josh Prey. We're going to go over what we did today. So you're going to say, como estas? Como estas? Um, and they're going to say, bien, e tu. And then you're going to say, bien. Then you're going to say, di donde? Di donde? I know a girl named di donde. She do hair and sell makeup. Um, Oreos, eres, if you can't speak Spanish properly, but that's Oreos, yo soy, like the soy sauce, that you put on your rice from the um, Chinese place, they immaculate. My name is Josh Prey. If you want to learn a language, meet me back here next week where we're going to go over Creole because there's more words to Creole than Sapa say, Nabule. Trust me. Have a good day.